Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Redneck Einstein. Today, we are going to be hiring an astronaut, and we're going to be launching a new research vessel in a polar orbit. So, around Kerbin, we're going to place a ship that's capable of researching all the different biomes of Kerbin. Now, we need to first hire a scientist. So, which one should we go for? The more courageous one or the less courageous one? I guess the more courageous one's more likely to, like, take risks. But that's fine. That's kind of how I play games, right? So, we'll hire him. And now we have five Kerbals. Alright, let me go into the VAB and I'll show you the rocket. You might recognize it from an earlier episode. It is, in fact, the Kerbin Orbital Research Unit. But it's just going to receive a rename so I can... Uh, keep track of all my different uh, rockets. This is the Kerbin Polar Orbital Research Unit. So we need to f allocate the crew who's going to be in our ship and that is the new guy, Kenkot Kerman. There you go, put him in the mobile processing lab and let's go to the launch pad. Now, in order to get into a polar orbit, we just need to change our, direct our direction of um, our trajectory, shall we say, in a slightly different way. So instead of going to the right, which which we normally do to get into a regular orbit, we're instead going to point forward. So you can see just on the nav ball down there, we're going to be following that um, orange line that runs down from north to south on the nav ball. So the principle is still the same. We just need to launch our rocket, uh, tilt slightly, try and do a gravity turn, but it's just going to be slightly different to usual in that we're going to be going polar. And that's kind of cool because hopefully... Since we're at an early stage in our career, I'm finding it a struggle to build a rocket powerful enough to do what I want to do, which is first of all go to Duna, which technically I do have a rocket that's powerful enough to get me to Duna, but uh, the main thing is the rocket needs, uh, well, we want to build a, uh, like, a outpost, shall we say, in orbit of, um, well, anywhere, really, apart from... Apart from around Kerbin, so Minmus or Moon would be the obvious uh, things we can aim for. Or um, even in around Duna. Now, I have got a contract. If I take a look up here, uh, we've got a contract that says build a new orbital station around Minmus. Um, like I said, it's going to be quite difficult because it needs to have 4,000 units of liquid fuel. And that's okay in itself, but we're going to need to have... Um, a, a rocket, first of all, that's powerful enough to carry up that amount of fuel. We probably wouldn't be able to do it in one attempt, so it would require several rockets, uh, and that's obviously going to increase the amount it costs. So, you know, you need to be aware of your budget when you're playing this. Although I'm not struggling in terms of my budget, I don't want to be docking like four, five, six ships together just to make one research uh, or one outpost around a, a planet. So, that's really what I'm aiming for with this. Um, I really think it can give me the science we need to further progress our playthrough. Now, let me just check on my orbit here. So you can see here we are going in a quite nice polar orbit. I think we've run out of fuel, have we? No, we haven't. We're still going. Good, good, good. All right, what is our apoapsis going to be? It's at 57,000, so it really needs to be around between 70 and 100,000, much like the Kerbal Kerbin Orbital Research Unit, the first one. So, yeah, let's hope we can get high enough. Um, all right, we're nearly out of fuel on this stage. All systems looking good so far. Let's deploy our final stage. So it's quite a simple rocket that we've got here. Uh, it's nothing complicated. If anyone's got any tricks that they want to suggest uh, do get in touch I'd love to hear from you um, if you think I can do things better or, or you know if you need any advice get in touch with that as well there we go we're at 70,000 meters that's actually one of my better gravity turns I'm quite impressed with that um, let's move horizontal totally now I'm gonna keep it below 100,000 meters I want it kind of in a low curb in orbit there we go, that'll do there. 97,000 meters, brilliant. So now I just need to circularize our orbit, and then we can get onto the juicy stuff of seeing if there's any new science we can get using this vessel. So, what height are we at? Uh, let's see, 65,000 meters, I see. Okay, so we've got a little while to go before we can start our circularized, circularizing burn. Let me just fast forward. 70,000 meters now, lovely. So, 
it's really not letting me fast forward very much here. There we go, that's better. All right, so very soon we'll be doing our circularizing burn. About there is perfect. Let's watch that. That looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. And we're nearly over the poles, so very that should open up some uh, science for us to perform in a second. Because I don't think we've visited the poles before. There we go. We've already got an EVA report we can do. Out you come, Kenkot. There you go, mate. Let's do a little EVA. How much is that? Let's move this out of the way. Uh, eight science. Not bad. Not bad at all. Grab that. That's it. Get back on board, mate. And I guess we just need to wait a second for our X science to catch up and tell us what new stuff is available. There we go. So we can do an atmospheric pressure scan. That'll get us a bit of data. And that's right there. Let's move our science thing again. Log pressure data. That is six science. Cool. So we can turn that into 75 science. Brilliant. Okay, now we haven't started our research unit yet. I'm just trying to get trying to get around all these different biomes to see what's available. I'm surprised. I don't think we've been over the polar regions before, but apparently there aren't any other scientific experiments to be performed. Ah, perform an EVA report while in space near Kerbin's Tundra. All right, review data. We will put that in for processing. If we do a quick EVA here, we can... Uh, we should be able to... Should be able to grab some more data. I think he's... Yeah, we missed our window there. Passing over the tundra. Never mind, let's get him back on board. And fast forward our way around it. I really think there should be some more science available. But apparently not. So I guess, for now, all we can really do is press start research. And we've got 25 data in total out of 750. And that's going to produce 0.0338 science a day. I will check back on this um, when we're not recording and see if there's any other biomes we can visit. So that may explain where I get some more science from. Let me just check. What is our angle of rotation around the planet? If we go here, we should be able to see. Uh, where does it say? It doesn't say. How do I find that out? That's my craft stats. That's interesting. Well, nonetheless, it's not a bad little orbit. I think what we'll do then is check back on our original Kerbin Orbital Research Unit and see if that's now got any more data to be sent back. Now, the thing is, I'm kind of waiting for my transfer window to Duna, so I'm finding missions that I can um, attempt before that window. Now, if I bring up my Kerbin alarm clock, you can see I've still got 230 days to wait until the Kerbin, tra Kerbin to Dune transfer window opens. So, there doesn't seem to be much science on there. They are researching. They've got enough electricity. And that's about all we can do. Right, so, I guess I'm quite happy with the angle there. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, I can change that at my leisure. I'm not I'm quite concerned. Why can't I find out what angle we're going around this at? Um, anyone know? Let me know, please. But for now, that video is over. So we'll leave both of these um, units researching away, hopefully providing me some data, although it's going to be very slow. Um, yeah, and next video, I'm not sure what we'll be seeing. If anyone's got any suggestions, do let me know. Get in touch. Um, and if anyone wants to promote my channel, uh, if we want to grow the, I want to grow my audience and I want to have a bigger community of everyone who can help each other and, um, you know, become friends, maybe game together, then please do share my videos. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit forums, any other forums is, is all good. Um, I'd love to grow the audience and um, bring some more knowledgeable people on board. But for now, Reinstein is out. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. Take care and have a great day. Goodbye.